Jeez, we got it on the other cameras though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all okay. in on the other cameras. Okay. We're okay. good. All right. So now it's on the uh, USB. A little technical difficulties. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. how. We, we're getting better at this show. For whoever don't like it, thank you. You know what I'm saying? This is what is going down. But Zaytoven is in the building. I'm in the building. We told you that's what we're going to do, and that's how we told you. That's how we got it. Brother, what do you think about your new cyber truck, man? Let's get jump straight into it. Say, listen, first of all, <laughs> I, done, I done probably had every car you can think of. Correct. You know, I done had every car you can possibly think of. And um, this is my first time really getting an electric car. So at first I was like, I was kind of against it because I like to hear the, you know, you like to hear the engine, you know, right. revving up. Right. You know, you want something that's like, okay, I can feel the engine. I like to put gas in the car because, you know, I move around a lot. Mm -hmm. But when I seen the Cybertruck, I'm like, well, hold on. This is a car that I might have to get. Even though it's all electric, I have to get it. Yeah. So I'm in love with the Cybertruck. I'm in love with how it looks. I'm in love with, you know, just how it performs. But when you guys just showed me mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. You know what I mean? When y'all just showed me mine right here on the showroom floor with the red bow on it, with the all triple black, no wet doubt. black. Sexy black on it. Sexy Brother, black. Brother, listen, as it stands now, Zaytoven has the hardest cyber truck in the city. Ooh. Put Let's that out be clear. there. Facts. Put that Let's out there. Let's be clear. Facts. What time is it? What's today's yeah. date? The 12th yeah. of April 2024, yeah. 2025, and 2026. Zaytoven has the hardest, the hardest, the hardest cyber truck cyber truck in the, in city, the city, hands down. No right and I ain't getting no harder than this. No. no. It can't. It it's, can't. You can't beat black. You can't beat that right there. Black no matter what black. you do. Uh, you can't beat that. Straight up. I know, I know what they're going to say. They're going to say, they're going to say, mm -hmm. uh, oh, but it's not a cyber beast. It's still the same truck. You nah. know what I'm saying? It's, Who it's needs still that? the same truck. Listen, you know what man. I mean? Now, so why the, well, how fast am I trying to drive in it? Right. You, right. You're not a race car driver. No, I'm not a no. race car driver. Leave that for me. Save I that do that when it. I go to the gym. I, I tell the trainer, I'm not trying to go to no muscle show. Right. I just want to look good. You That's better it. believe it. My <laughs> kind of guy. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. Yeah. You could thank Dane. Dane, uh, Dane did the Dane hooked me up. The whole service for this vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he was the one who actually put the red bow on it. We was telling him, don't do it. Don't do it. But congr <laughs> congrats to my man, Dane. He put yeah. the red bow on it. He and when, it right. Once we saw it on the vehicle, we was like, okay, all right, Dane, you got that. We, you got we, that. we just wanted to make sure the car had no scratches on it. That's all. That's what but, we was but, worried about. We were able to pull it off, and I'm happy. Look, Zay, I, I can't help but to ask. Look, you didn't get here overnight, brother. Uh -huh. Let me ask you, <laughs> right. going back to the beginning, bro, uh -huh. what was your first car? First car was uh, Acura 3.2. Well, I mean, you can tell me my first, first car? Your yeah. first, oh, first car. My first, first car. I was in a Mazda 626. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it was like... Yeah. It's a long time yeah. ago. It's it was long. beat up, though. Yeah. It was beat up. It's but important. It, 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 yeah. I need you guys to see and understand that it doesn't start here. Oh, no, 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 no. Definitely not. Right? It starts with the Mazda 626 yeah. with the interior that needs some work. Right. Man, like a dog chewed it up. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. Yeah, that's I have important. To, I have to include that. 
Um, I had a special Mazda 626 back in the day, of course. Uh, me and my man Lloyd, once again, Lloyd took the picture. It was a Mazda 626 mm -hmm. GT Turbo. Y'all go look it up. Y'all find out how long ago that was. Mm -hmm. Badass car. I didn't have no rip seats and stuff. But, man, you know, dude, my car was, was a bucket. Good. Now I had everything hot, fire. So now I'll segue to this. Mm -hmm. When you got your first check, now we out the hood, mm -hmm. right? What was the first car you went to? Now he's probably still in the hood. I've been in the hood check. for I, I was doing the hood for a long time. So I went from there. Then I I started getting Cadillacs. You know, Cadillac is like in the South. Cadillac means something. Yeah. Correct. Now I was buying this, uh, like you know, the Sedan DeVille, like ninety two, mm. ninety three year. You know what I mean? I bought about four of those. Yeah. Mm. Then I went to the DTS. You know, when that came out. Then I went to I had a Acura. Um, 3.5 and I had wheels on it and I remember mm. this is when I first started working with Gucci man. Yep. And my car looked so good they felt like man Zay done made it. Zay big time. <laughs> yeah. You know I had the 20 inch wheels right. on, yeah. the, on the right, Acura. Right, right. The Acura was white and it just looked like it just looked good. Yeah yeah. So it's like man I remember Gucci saying it on the song if you ever go get a chance to look it up he did an intro just about Zay told it. He was like, y'all don't want it. Y'all don't want to see the act with the big rims on it. We got to go look at that. Yeah. I'm going to look yeah. that up. So that I'm was look like that a up. special car for me back yeah, then. That's yeah, that's hot. That's wow. hard. But when I really started kind of making some money, then I went to the, you know, I went to Mercedes. Yep. So I got the CLS. I remember my first, you know, somewhat of a nice car uh, was CLS. I got the CLS. I had the lipstick okay. rims on okay. it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that was like my, that was my car for a while. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Hard. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm like I'm liking that. Yo, Zay, we got the kind of the same taste. Went from a Mazda six two six. I got a CLS. Okay. Fifty five AMG. Okay. You know yeah. 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 That's it. Kind of moving. That's I, it. I like the cyber truck. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. We on the same vibes. You yes, know what I'm sir. saying? Yes, sir. Um, let me get a question. In uh, mm -hmm. it seems like what we're seeing in the industry, mm -hmm. the music, the rappers, the videos they doing, exotic cars. It's starting to mix, bro. Like, it's not starting. It has been, but it's just on another level at mm -hmm. the moment right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. um, what do you think about that? As far as artists with, with cars. And yeah, in their videos. Oh, man, that's, it's, it's a must. A must. It, it shows that you're successful. It shows that you got style and flavor. Correct. And believe it or not, I feel like hip-hop runs... The, every culture, so correct. Whatever clothes they wear, whatever cars they put in video, that's what everybody wants. Exactly, it's true. Hundred yeah. percent. Yes, hip, hip, hip hop is on a whole nother level. Some people don't want to give it its uh, true right, but hip hop changed the game. Changed the game because when spinners came out, chrome wheels. Now dealerships have that automatically. Right. You ain't gotta ask for it. You yeah. the car is coming with twenty inches, Correct. coming with chrome wheels, no. coming with aftermarket. You wheels. know what? Shout out to our culture. We lead the way in so many things, and big business bites down on our culture. But it starts with us here it out does. in the streets. The culture sets the tone for everything. So shout out to us for right. sure. Right? For sure. Yo, all right. So look, look. We, you have big friends. Mm -hmm. You have friends that have it all. But mm -hmm. there's always someone who's just a little saucier than others, right? Mm -hmm. In your opinion, who has the hardest car collection that you know of, mm. that you've seen with your mm. own eyes? Car collection. I'm going to have to go... I'm gonna have to go Rick Ross. Rick Ricky. Ross, kinda, yeah, okay. Rick, Ricky got some crazy, crazy yeah. cars. Okay, and he not scared to you know go old school. Correct. He ain't scared to you know pull out just cars. It's like man, I ain't even know nothing about this car. That's right <laughs> <here>. true. <laughs> right. Most you know most guys gonna go for okay. They got the Rolls Royce. They got the Lamborghini truck. They got the Maybach. You know just yeah. the high end luxury yeah, cars. Yeah, no doubt. But uh, you know I done seen Rick Ross got he got too many cars. You yeah. can't beat him. You can't beat him. <laughs> it's up. Yo, shout to Rick man. Shout. We're gonna get you on the show too, big Rick, boss. Yeah. Sure. Okay. This time we might have to go through Zaytoven to get oh, we need that for sure. I have no connection. Yeah. <laughs> that's all good. All right, <laughs> appreciate so that. I'm yeah. gonna do something real quick here. Mm -hmm. Um, this is my main man Tilford, uh, Dreams and Driveway. Yes, sir. I'm gonna let you ask a question, then yeah. guess, guess what happens after that. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get on up out of here. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nah, no, nah, uh, Zay, first of all, congratulations again on the on your cyber truck, man. Appreciate um, it. That's a, I mean, that's a beautiful vehicle. When I walked in, I was like, man, who car is that? I was about to film it. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dane was like, man, nah, 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 nah. Wait, wait, wait. Got to wait till Zay get here. I said, yeah. nah, Zay getting that one? Yep. Okay. Yeah, yes, so sir. congrats on that. But uh, what I would say is uh, 
if you could, if you were to just, if somebody said you had to get rid of all your cars right now, but mm. you could only keep one, mm. which one would you keep? That's tough. He just got the side That's truck. Tough. I know, That's I know, tough. but it's still tough because he. It's tough. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, when I look at all the cars I got, I have a Mercedes Maybach Sprinter. Mm. And that's one vehicle I feel like I can't get rid of. Mm -hmm. It's almost like an office on wheels. Yep. I got yep. kids that's in the sports. Yep. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, I'm, I'm a big family man, so mm -hmm. I always, you know, I'm always carrying my family around. So that's one vehicle that's like, if I had to get rid of everything yep. right now, I have to keep that. That's smart. What's up. No that's doubt. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that makes sense. Yeah, like yeah. smart play. Multi-purpose. Multi-purpose, yep. 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 Yo, Tilfer. Hey, man, it's been real, man. I appreciate y'all for letting me sit in real for quick. Sure. Yeah, hurry up, uh, bro. Hurry up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm here to stay up and see y'all on the next one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, All right my guy. bro. It's yes, my sir. Guy, bro. All good. Yeah. Holla back, bro. Yes, sir. No doubt. Mm -hmm. That was fun. All right, Till. My boy. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> Drewski. Drewski. Back in the building. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Right. Good, good. You see, this is live, so Drewski was actually finally doing some work. Spinning a deal, brother. You know hey, what what's going on? I do some work every once in a while. Every, every so often. Every so often. You know what I'm saying? Another thing I wanted to talk about in the industry, Zay, is that a lot of people, I like your position in the music industry because you're in the background. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't really know, not, not to count your pockets or anything mm -hmm. like that. They don't know how much money Mm -hmm. music producers make i'm gonna say they make more than the rappers mm -hmm. you know in, in the long run mm -hmm. in the long run um and congrats on your uh thing with metro booming you okay know, those yeah. are your guys the album just came out yeah yeah yeah. Man, yeah. I, I, I listened to that too i don't I, yo he's already here i don't have to hype him up he's already here dog <laughs> yeah. he already yeah. know i listen to his stuff yeah. bro yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. man since country wayne everybody all of that i listen to, i'll be with today bro what's up. Mm -hmm. let's not let's not uh do that what mm -hmm. i'm saying just for the for mm -hmm. our people for the culture for the mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. um give some young producers out there because i know this thing changes a lot mm -hmm. but you've been in it for so long you kind of got the heartbeat of it the pattern of it mm -hmm. um what would you say to a new young producer trying to get their thing off out there uh, that's funny. We was talking about that because I, I actually have a producer's camp today uh, at 4U Recording Studio where I'm just inviting. It's only like 40 producers can come in, but, you know, I'm just kind of giving them game and trying to give them direction. Okay. Because like you say, the game is changing so much mm -hmm. now and it's hard to really get in or see where you fit in or how do I, how do I go to the next level. Mm -hmm. So and the answer to that is there's no secret sauce. There's no you know, absolute way or what you have to do. Mm -hmm. You just got to think creative and, and be creative, you mm -hmm. know, and on getting in the game now. I always try to tell producers, one thing you have to do is be unique. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right now we're living in a time where everybody want to sound like everybody else. Correct. Correct. You know what I mean? Correct, yeah. Producers come to me with beats that sound just like my beat. <laughs> yeah. Like, hold on. It's like, well, bro, yeah, like, like, why are you making my beats? Right. Like, yeah. I'm not going to be impressed by that. Correct. You have to, you have to shock me with something else. You got to else. shock me some, with something else and, and stand out and be unique. Right. And on top of that, I always tell producers, find an artist. Find an artist that you feel like that's a superstar or, or that's a guy that's hungry enough to do whatever it takes to make it in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The reason I made it in the game is because I felt that way about Gucci, man. Mm -hmm. So uh, I feel like Gucci, man, is he's super dope. He going to do whatever it takes to make it. I'm gonna produce what whatever he need from me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it to him. Mm -hmm. So once he blew up, it helped blow me up. Right? Yeah, you know what I mean. So I always try to tell producers that too, because now everybody's just trying to send beats to everybody. Hopefully they get a placement on an album, or hopefully somebody use their beat. Mm -hmm. That might never happen. Got you. Find you an artist. Find somebody that you can, you know, connect with, and y'all build chemistry with. And you know, I'm just hoping, pray that. You know what I mean? It, it, it go where it need to go. Yeah, you put the hard work in. You put yeah. the hard work in, dog. I, I see it. it. You put the hard crazy, work in. Crazy, 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 that's crazy. That's what. That's where it goes, bro, with the hard work. 100%. Absolutely. For real. Yo, how does it feel to be the sound of a whole music genre? That's crazy. Yeah, me. the whole sound. Like, the sound. The sound. The sound. The sound. This, you know what's so crazy? You saying the sound because... I'm a church musician, right? Sure. I played the organ at church, and I've been doing that since I was young. Yeah. And I remember the, a prophetess uh, by the name of Diane Palmer. Mm. She passed a few years ago, but she came to me in the middle of church while I'm playing and just saying, like, you one in a million. Mm. Your sound is going to be 
great over, you know, over the nations or whatever. Wow. And I'm like, my sound, I'm feeling like, okay, I play the keyboard, I'm okay. I ain't that good. Mm. I didn't know she was talking about rap music, you mm. know, like mm. music in the industry. Mm. So it didn't hit me till years later, like this is what she told me sure. all these years back. You right. better believe it. So that's big. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's to me, the stuff that I've seen from the bottom to the top is just crazy because I remember one of Future's uh, music just from the beginning mm. and I still follow him and people used to talk about, oh yeah, he's just a drug provider. Mm. I don't take no drugs, bro. I never, I don't even know what Lee <laughs> looked like. You know what I mean? I don't know what any of the drugs he's talking about look like. Yeah. I, I know most of his records. I know, yeah, you I know could, the music. I could, I could spit that music yeah. out just like he do it. So yeah. they try to flip our genres sometime, our, you know, through you a know different agenda, bro. Yeah. You know, yeah. but I get it because things happen. Yeah. Um, man. Where else do we going with it? Well, well, you know what? I have a question. Go mm -hmm. ahead. You don't have to say if you don't want, okay. but Team Future mm -hmm. or Team Drake? Uh, I'm going to be Team Future. Oh, that's strong. You know what I mean? Team Future. Strong. That's where we going. I mean, strong. it's just because, like, I worked with Future from his first mixtape he ever put out. Yeah. So this is somebody that's, you know, we in the same city. We're yeah. working with each other. You know what I mean? I done, done a few songs with Drake, yeah. but I don't really know Drake yeah. like I know Future. Absolutely. I know Future. So Future's definitely home team. So. For sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Home team, just to let y'all know, you know, I'm not Zaytoven, but home team for me too. Yeah, home team. <laughs> nah, for sure. Yeah. That's how you do it. Who you with? He said future. He's here. So <laughs> <laughs> and that's nothing against Drake. No, like, no, no. Smart. Yeah, listen, no, no, listen. Smart. Exactly. We, we, listen, I remember we just getting a little chippy. Chippy and chippy. A little chippy. A little chippy. I will say this. I will say this. When yeah. I did the song Versace for, for Migo. Yeah, yeah. One, one of your biggest hits of, of all time. One of my time. biggest. Yep, yep. yep. And Drake came on the song. He was like, shout out Migo. Shout out Zaytoven. It blew my mind. Like, what did he just say? Yeah. Shout out Zaytoven. I never met him before. Never did any music with him before. Yeah. I wasn't in the room when he did the song. Mm. So for him to just think about Zaytoven, it just you know it blew my mind. So wow. I'm I'm grateful. Definitely forever grateful for that. Absolutely. Yeah. No yeah, doubt. He's sure. definitely he's definitely a big ass entertainer. For sure. Ain't no for doubt sure. about that. We, for sure. We just trying to put a little spice. Spice. You gotta spice. You gotta spice it up. You gotta spice it up. <laughs> yeah, man. That's all we doing. That's yeah. we just trying to put the spice in the show. Yeah. I got another question Shoot. too. Mm -hmm. uh, how many cars you have right now? Jeez. Just about. Let me think. Let me <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's not like 10 it. cars. It's like 10 yeah. cars. It's like I got 10, 10 cars, yeah, too. Yeah, you know, it's like 10, 10 cars, too. It so it's an even match. It's, it's even. Yeah, it's not that bad. I, only four of my cars work, but I got 10. Right. 10 ain't, that's not you that bad. Them. So is there a car that you don't have yet that you're, that's kind of like a dream car or anything like that? I never had a dream car. I always okay. felt like. In, in the music business, as my career started getting better or I started getting bigger, I always wanted to go to the next levels. Like I said, I had the Mercedes right. S550, mm. uh, the CLS. Yes. Then I wanted the S550. Right. Then I was like, oh, I'm ready. I want to get the Maybach. Right, right, then right. Then after I got the Maybach, it's like, okay, oh, they got the Lamborghini truck coming out. I want the Lamborghini truck. Yeah. Then they got the Rolls Royce truck coming out. Right. I want that. You know, it's like yeah. it's just with my, with my status as it continues to grow, the more I wanted, like the next bigger car, the, right. the next to the you know bigger you know bigger I'm, car. So, mm -hmm. so there's no like Bugatti in line next or anything like now that. Now that's, <laughs> that's, that's too much. That's too much for me. Gotcha. Like I'm one. I'm too simple, and me, I'm me you too. know, and I don't. I'm not a guy that really likes a lot of attention. Okay. Like I'm gonna be scared to drive the Cybertruck because I know it's gonna be like, man, that goes Zayto. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this one does look good. It look good. It's, it look yeah, good with that yeah. wrap and everything on it. It just it looks look super good. stealthy, like. People are gonna see it, but it just looks super stealthy. That when you see it, you're like, "Yeah, what? What exactly is that? <laughs> what like, is that? It, it looks like a UFO? hole in the ozone like, layer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. You can watch some of our previous videos, and Drew doesn't really like the Cybertruck, yeah. but he looked at yours and was like, "Yo, this joint is that thing looks clean." And it wasn't about me. Just I'm liking it so much when I seen it. Yeah, it's just in my business, like we're talking about the culture. Yeah, you got to stay relevant. You got to stay what's going on. Mm -hmm. And my kids are saying. Hey, no, that's the car you you need. That car you right. gotta have that car. Right. And and I'm at the age now where I listen to them because they hip. They know what's going on. Yep. The reason why I work with the newest artists that I work with is not because I'm listening to that music all day. It's my kids like this. Is what we listening to? This is who you need to work with. Yep. So oh, yeah. So they keep me. You know, they keep me hip. So, so this her. right here is going. You know, this go, this right. the car alone. This is another thing I be t telling producers. You Tell know, because we are in the in the background. And people don't see us as much. But mm -hmm. things like this, 
is what keep us relevant and keep us in the in the uh, in the eyes of mm. like, well, believe it or not, an artist will want to work with you just cause. Oh, that's your car outside. It's, it's true. Right. And it's, it's true. straight up and down. Right. True. It's the look, right. the, you know that. It make it go. It make it be like, hey man, I want to. I need to yep. work with him. Yep. I want to work with him. He going somewhere. I need yeah. to do yeah. something. Yeah, I need to do something with him. Listen, l- let me switch it up just a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. So, w- when do you like to record the most? Do you prefer night or daylight? I'm an early mor- on early morning person. Yeah. I'm one of those guys like Church when is. me and Gucci used to record all our music. And it was mostly because of him. He'll call me at six thirty, seven o'clock in the morning. Hey, I'm on the way over there. Oh, like we ready to record? We recording all day. Yeah. Dang. Like I'm not a night owl, man. Come eleven thirty, I was like, man, I'm gonna <laughs> right. go to sleep. And that's the same for me. I yeah. had to ask. So for me, I'm ready to rock and roll at six o'clock in the morning. In the morning yep. But come ten, eleven o'clock, I want to wind down. I'm ready to wind down. Yeah, yeah. Same way. Yep. Same way. Yep. Sweet. Sweet. All right, that, that's where we might be the opposite <laughs> a little bit. I like being out all night. But all it's right. fresh, though. You get fresh ideas. You get up in the morning, it's like right. a freshness. It's yep. like, right. okay, now I'm ready to get the day going. Right. Do you have right. anything specific that you do in the morning to kind of help get get blood flowing, get ideas going, all that kind of stuff? So now I'm at the gym every morning. Okay. Like I don't, I'm excited to get up and go work out. You know, I got a train and everything. So I'm excited to get up and go to the gym mm-hmm. just to give me that energy. It, just being in the gym just bring forth ideas and things I want to do. So when I go to the house, now I'm ready to make beats. Anybody want to come record? Let's right. do it. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to work all you day. Hype. You hype. I'm hype. Yeah, you ready. That blood flowing. Yeah. The brain is popping. Yep. Yeah, yep. I'm yep. feeling you on that yep. 100%. For sure. With, with your cars that you have, mm-hmm. is there a specific car that you like to listen to your tracks in? Mm. That's crazy because it's back to the Sprinter on that. The yep. Sprinter... Man, you get in the back of the Sprint, it sound like a box Chevy that got it. You know what I mean? Right. The rest of the cars, they so nice. I don't even like turning the radio up too loud. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, gotcha. for sure. And and do you do you change your aftermarket systems in your in your cars, or you leave it stock? I uh, now I leave it stock. Now back in the day, of course, yeah. when yeah, I was yeah, buying yeah, yeah, Cadillacs yeah, yeah. and I man, I'm changing <laughs> everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything got now. Go. I don't. This is the first time I put wheels on the car in so long with wow. this yeah. uh, Cybertruck. Yeah. I haven't done that in so long. Wow. Because it, it's like, why well, I'm going to change out the factory. The car costs too much money to change out the factories to me. It's, it's true. It's starting to feel like the cars have gotten so much better with their with sound the, yep. systems, with yeah. their wheels, with the all wheels. that kind of stuff. Yep. That You know, half the time when you buy a car, especially Mercedes, you have 10 different options of wheels you can get. So you're like, well, let me just pick the ones I like ahead of time, and then exactly. I don't have to buy new wheels. Correct. Exactly. Correct. 100%. Yep. Brother... I see you're big on buying automobiles. Uh, We're huge on financial literacy. So I know at some point you had to have said, okay, you know what, all this cash, it's time to kind of start getting my finances in in place as far as credit is concerned. Mm -hmm. Do you have a word that you would give out to, you know, young folks in the culture when it comes to financial literacy and and, and getting themselves together? Any, like, message that you would give to, to some of the young cats? Mm, like, for me, I'm one of those guys now. Yep. And, and I'm just now getting into the whole credit thing yeah. or whatever. Just because of the business that business that I, I'm in, yep. I'm one of those guys that I like to just pay for everything. For sure. There's my houses, my cars, yep. everything is paid for. Because, mm-hmm. you know, you you always hear the story about this person had this. Mm-hmm. Correct. But then now, you know, business probably not doing that well. So now they repoing cars, or you got to sell his house, or yeah. you know what I mean. I was, I'm always, I always been that one of those guys that I'm. I believe in being secure. Yeah, like almost debt free. Like so, yeah. whatever I got, that's mine. Sure, I don't owe another dollar on that. That's strong. But but I, I have I've been learning. The more money I make, it's like no, I say you need to keep your money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah, you, yeah, yeah. There we have it. There yeah. we have it. Yo, yeah. because as I look at. Me through your eyes, mm-hmm. you know, you, you think about how much leverage you yeah. can have, like to have the financial strength mm-hmm. and then the ability to also leverage the credit. Yeah. You can go so far, right? Yeah. So it's just one of those things where if we 
as a culture would learn to add a little more leverage to what we already got going on, we can go much further, further. down the road. Yeah. Right. I'm learning that right now. Yeah. Because I've yeah. always been scared, man. You no. know, this music business, I've been scared. Like, man, I don't want to be the guy that fell off and then now he just owe a whole bunch of money. Right. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? So. No, you're playing it smart. You're playing it smart by doing it the way you're doing it, right? So you're teaching everyone a lot with that, but we'll add the credit piece to it yeah. and, and, and sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. Yeah, and we got just you. Just follow it. our show, bro. We, yes, we, we give tips all the time. Oh, yes, yeah. sir. No doubt. Uh, Drew? Drewski. You've you been got? quiet, Drewski. What's up, bro? <laughs> I ain't got nothing. I just had to call Drew. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't got nothing. He's been quiet. No, I'm trying you to know. kind of swapped in here, so I'm yeah. trying to get my bearings of where we're at. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Drewski. You what, know what I mean? I'm more, I'm more on the car side as opposed yeah. to the music side. It's true. So, yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Well, jump in, Drew. Listen, this is a big stage we're on, my friend. I see jump, that. Jump in on the action, brother. So yeah. I do have a question solely because I'm more of a rock and roll guy and all that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. for... What all, what songs do I know that have been your songs that maybe some of the people watching that, you know, like me, that are like, so we know this guy, <laughs> but we don't know what all songs he's done. I mean, maybe that's, is maybe there just too I, many of them Yeah, to list? maybe it's a, it's a lot of songs to list, but if, maybe if I name some of the artists. Okay. Of course, Drake. Okay. Future. <laughs> Nicki Minaj. <laughs> uh, Gucci Man, <laughs> Migos. <laughs> Usher. So there's probably a thousand songs it's that I've heard. Many, it's I don't too even, many songs. I don't even realize it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Yep. He he is the Adele <laughs> of hip hop music. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Right. <laughs> he's, he's across the forum. <laughs> Fair enough. That works. The oh, biggest. Yeah. The biggest. There we go. Zaytoven is the biggest, bro. Not his love. Oh man, all love. Um, I guess. Uh, I I thought we were going up on the screen. What we got? We got pictures to look at. Yeah, we're gonna do on. Um, we ain't gonna do on the lot today. We doing on the lot. What about the gram? Yeah, let's do on the lot right now. Let's do on the lot real quick. Okay. Well, let's let him do it. What's so that? all the cars we got yeah. around here. Uh huh. Which ones kind of? Which one stands out to you? And like you can't you pick your to, cyber truck. You can't pick the cybe. If you were gonna it, come back and buy on the showroom show floor right now. Let's see. Or if you notice something outside, either way. Oh, that stands out. Okay, where's I, there's a lot of cyber trucks in here. That's yeah, right. yeah. That is true. They stand out. <laughs> you know, it's so, you know it's so crazy. Out of all the cars I ever bought, now, yeah. You know, and this is not the most expensive car. Nope. Right. But this is the car that stands out more than all it's true. the cars. It's yeah. true. It's true. I we, think from this day forward, yeah. it's going to be hard to look at cars and say, well, it don't look like that. Right. Or it don't, you know, it don't compare to that. So right. straight up. We've sold a ton of cyber trucks mm -hmm. all throughout the city. As a matter of fact, we're, we're the biggest seller of the cyber trucks. We yeah. actually got a call. From Tesla themselves, yeah, we, we um, got a call from Elon Musk's secretary. Right. Yeah, yeah, listen, but, okay. but, but they weren't mad and they weren't hating either. Right, yeah. right? They were just like, "Yo, just uh, we respect what you're doing. You know, just just walk light. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, walk light. Yeah, walk light. But yeah, no, nah, these, these trucks are a industry favorite. Um, I've sold about eight of these to celebrities all throughout the country. And this is what people want, man. This is what they want. Yep, yep. There's nothing yeah. like it. I can look at all the cars out, and I got most of the cars. Yeah. The yep. Lamborghini, the Rolls Royce, yep. yeah. G-Wagon, I got it. The, yeah. Uh, I don't have a Ferrari. I never was into mm -mm. Ferrari like that, you know. I was more of a Lamborghini type of guy. Yep. But, you know, all this, it looks good is just, well, I didn't seen it a million times. Correct, yeah. right. This is crazy. Yeah, this or, or Gucci is pulling up in one. Huh? Or Gucci might yeah, be pulling Gucci up got, in yeah, one. Yeah, Gucci pull yeah. up, you know. Yeah. But it don't matter what car somebody else got right now. No. You can have the most expensive car. This car is going to be the showstopper right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The reason why is because this it's all about exclusivity. Yeah. Right? You can't regularly buy this car. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people, I even have an allocation for it. But guess what? It's not here yet. Yeah. Right? right. So, so to physically have one of these cars... And to physically be driving around in one of these cars is a flex within itself yeah. because one is saying you're exclusive enough to have the rare Michael Jordan rookie card, uh -huh. if you will, uh -huh. and you have the money to buy it, you know, well over the asking price. Well it's over. a flex. Yeah. Definitely a flex. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you wrap it. And then you put rims on it, yeah. and then you come to the showroom podcast Flex. and get an interview. 
<laughs> I was looking for an everyday car. I was, I was like, I'm gonna get the Cybertruck for like an everyday wow. car. Wow. Now I look at it, it's like, man, I don't want <laughs> an everyday car no more. Everyday. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it first. Cybertruck as a daily driver. Yeah. Yeah, Strong. There you go. We, yeah. we did that video, right? What would you be Strong. your daily driver? Yep. Yeah. Cybertruck as a daily driver. Yep. Man, oh man. Yes, we're gonna sir. do something. Um, we're gonna do explain the gram. I think we're ready for it. And um, what we got? Here? I don't even know where we're going with this either, man. Oh, there we All go. Right. Oh, that's this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna show a couple of pictures. Yeah, we pulled from your Instagram. Yeah, and I want you to take a deep dive into what the cars in the pictures or anything you can remember about that day. Uh, so I just remember my guy was over at the house. You see, I've been working out in the gym. Yeah, so there we go. Like, Let me take my Listen, shirt off. Let's not glean past <laughs> there. So you appear you, in the morning. You appear to be in the best shape of your life. Yeah. What's going on yeah. here, brother? Yeah. I was just that's when I just first started really getting into the gym. Okay. And I was like, boy, I feel good. You know how it is. Yeah. That gym make you feel good. Yeah. When you look good, it's like, man, hold on, pull that camera out and take some of these pictures. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh I was I remember I was at home. Yep. Okay, then we got the Maybach in the front, we got the C A. And yep. then the Rolls Royce, right. the G Wagon, right. yep. and the Sprinter. Yeah. So the crazy part is, I have all these cars still, but the newer version, the upgraded except, version. Uh, yeah, the, the upgraded version, except the Rolls Royce. Now I, I kept this, that same exact Rolls Royce. Yeah, there's no yeah. reason to change. You can't the Rolls. change. Yeah, yeah, don't need to change that. Need to change right. That. But you know, as the new, the Maybach came out, the new one, the C8. You know, they started just coming out with the convertible. Yeah. The the G Wagon I had. It was what is that like a gray color or something like that. So I ended up liking this China blue one that mm. y'all had here. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I need that one. I remember, yeah. I remember, yeah. that. I remember that. I remember that. In the van, I had it. I had it wrapped. I had just did a, a collaboration with Clo with Rockstar Clothing. Sure. So I had wrapped the van, but now I got a different van. I had the Maybach version, which is so much doper than that one. Right sure. Now. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Incredible. Mm -hmm. What we got here? Me and Usher. Now, you know, this is this is funny right here because me and Usher did an album called A. And so this is us just doing some promo video and riding around the city. Do you know we got in a car accident? No. Was, yeah, Seriously? With this old school. <laughs> no way. Wait, yeah. who was driving? He was driving. <laughs> Usher. Oh, no, my Usher, hold God. Hold on, slow down, man. Why are you driving so fast? Man, it's that button-up shirt he had on, man. <laughs> Come on, Usher, brother. Yo, it's too much wind, it's too much wind blowing no, down in his no. shirt. Listen, man. Ride with Usher scared me. I remember we got off of private planes and landed in L.A. And we just, you know, got into Lambert and everything. When right. I say Usher oh, driving and running up on the back of a car and going this way, then right. I was like, bro, could right. you please slow down? <laughs> He's he trying to drive like me. Usher, don't do that. No. Don't do yeah. that, Usher. Yeah. Gee. You got too much to lose for yeah. that one. And yeah. you see, look, you see what that says? Featuring future. Yep. What yep. year? What year? This is About. 2018. Okay. Yeah. I think 2018, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man. They were saying we look like brothers. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What we got yeah. here? Okay, that's me and Gucci, and we was doing a feature for my homegirl, Natasha Mosley. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. And that was my Maybach. See, that's why, like, you see the Maybach in that one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was my Maybach, too. But when the newer version came out with you the grill change, I swapped it. I swapped had to get out. the new one. I got, yeah, yeah. you know. You see, that's that's the Ferrari right. I want. Yep. The mm -hmm. California. That's that the joint Ferrari. is crazy. Gucci, does Gucci that, still have that? Uh, I'm not sure. I know all his cars is red, so. Uh, yeah, he probably swapped yo, out. Yo, Gucci, hey. man. It, yo, I, I'm sitting here with Zay. Could I get that Ferrari? <laughs> no, he got a new, no, he got a new, he got a different one than that now. Yeah. He probably got that hidden in the back he, he, Yeah, He, he don't know. even use, Gucci, you don't even use it. Just bring it, let me get it. Just, <laughs> Gucci <laughs> got them cars too now. I know, course. I like that yeah, California. Gucci got them cars. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. They try to hate on the California, but a lot of people just don't know about it. I want a California. I love a California. A white California for me. Okay. Yeah. Future. Yeah, future. Yeah. There we go. This is, we were shooting the Too Much Sauce video right here. Wow. You remember that song? It's Too Much Sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So take us back. Where are we at? Where are we at right now? You remember? We was at a house. I'm sure they kind of rented out this big mansion house that, you know, to shoot the video in. Yeah. And I think we was, I was waiting on Lil Uzi Vert to show up. Okay. Yep. Okay. What's, what's that behind y'all? Range Rover? Yeah, I, that's a, I think that's a Range that's Rover. That's a Range Rover. Yeah. Yeah. Range. But Yo. that wasn't on our cars, right? I don't know. Yo, the listen, guys. the intense future. Yo, y'all remember that future? That face right there, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You're like, niggas, that's I'm beast coming. Mode. You're that's like, I'm beast coming, mode bro. future right there. <laughs> y'all stop playing with me. I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, that's beast mode future. You can see yeah, it. I see it. Yeah. Jesus. Tyrant. Yeah. Yes, sir. What's next? That's it? 
We already did. Okay. Okay. Cool. Hey, I, I like this show. This podcast yeah. is nah, bang. Going up. We on one. Thank Y'all do a good job too, man. Oh, Y'all I appreciate that, boss. Job, appreciate, sure. appreciate that, man. No doubt. Okay, here's the crazy Ooh, video. Who saw that? this? Oh, I did see that. That's bro, awesome. Happened? That's for the real. The driver came out. Yes, that's for real. Oh, that's Yo, run that back, bro. Seat belts, people. Run that back. Hold on. Let's see where. That's an FJ. Huh? One. Is that uh, the one uh, we just sold? Oh! oh I don't know, bro. I don't know. It looked a little no, digital. No, watch. Hold on. Watch. It looked a little... Nah, he walks He, he walks along the Hold beach, on. bro. Uh, watch. Uh, now look how he come flipping out of there. Nah, nah. It, it looked like the window was up, though. Bro. Yeah. So he came out of there? Yeah, he yeah, came, he came out, out of there. there. For real. That's real, bro. We ain't got the whole video? It's got five million views, bro. That's crazy right there. We just looking for 5,000 views, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Jeez. He's lucky he landed in the water yeah. instead of yeah. the sand, though. He landed in the sand, bro. Lucky the truck ain't land on top of him. Yes, he is. Yeah. Right. That's the biggest part right yeah. there. My goodness. Yeah, that's crazy right there. Well, I think uh, we're not going to keep Zaytoven nah, here all won't. day. I would love to because that's my man. But Zaytoven comes here like he works I mean, here anyway. I need a shirt. I told you know, he, shirt. <laughs> he be up here all the time. All the time. So that's how we, I knew we was going to be able to get Zaytoven. It's by no other means. I just know he's a nice guy. He's a kind guy. Bro. He's humble. He's very humble. Very with humble. With what he has. And I knew he would come join us for if sure. I asked. So I decided to ask. For and sure. I appreciate it. Thank you very appreciate much. Appreciate y'all, man. For sure. No doubt. Don't you guys forget to like, subscribe, do all of that good stuff. Check out Zaytoven's uh, Instagram, yep. Facebook, all of that. Get on there. The producers holler at him. It's all a plug for him. This is for Zaytoven because yep. he's going to run the city with the new Cybertruck. And if Hardest in the city. If y'all want one, come, come talk come to holla. me. Come yeah. talk to me. Holler yeah. at y'all, man. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's guys. get it. Let's get all back right. to work. Uh, do you want to do any shout outs or anything like that while you're here? Man, I think we got it all. Shout out to Atlanta Autos, man. man. <laughs> y'all take care. Wait, wait, y'all take care. Um, the thing that you're doing again, the uh, producer camp. Yeah, yep. producer camp. Yeah, talk about it. Right, well, we're we gonna put the link too. We're gonna put the link. Oh, uh, if you if anybody follow me on Instagram, if you don't follow me, go uh the link is in my bio now. Zaytoven Beats, Z-A-Y-T-O-V-E-N-B-E-A-T-Z. And the producer camp starts today. So you know you got people flying in from all over, but you know, you might but you know what I'm I ain't gonna lie, I think it might be sold out already. Wow. But yeah, just I mean. be on the lookout for the next one. Yeah. yeah. If Thorns. you wanna get in, there's a password. It's called Atlanta Autos. <laughs> you might be able to get in. Come buy a car, you can get in. Buy, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Strong. <laughs> no doubt. Holla at us. Strong. Uh -huh. <laughs> cool. God bless. Yes. Well, that was good. Awesome. That was, that was very good, bro. Good that was very good, my Yes, sir. Bro. For real, for real.